Queen Elizabeth and her family paid their last respects to Prince Philip at his funeral in Windsor on Saturday. She stood alone as her husband of 73 years was lowered into the royal vault in a service attended by senior royals, including heir Prince Charles and his sons, Princes William and Harry. Elizabeth and her children, grandchildren and a select group of others, just 30 mourners in total, had to be socially distanced at the toned-down service. Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby prayed for Philip and praised him for his faith and loyalty, sense of duty and integrity. Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, died aged 99 on April the 9th. The Queen once called him her strength and stay. The nation observed a minute's silence in brilliant sunshine. Then Harry and William took up their places on opposite sides of the chapel in Windsor Castle. Elizabeth has been widowed just as she grapples with one of the gravest crises to hit the royal family in decades. Much media attention will focus on the royal's behaviour towards Harry, who quit royal duties last year and was making his first public appearance since an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey last month. In the interview, he and his wife Meghan accused an unnamed royal of making a racist comment and said Meghan's pleas for help when she felt suicidal were ignored. Meghan watched the funeral from her home in California because she is pregnant. Philip was a decorated Royal Navy veteran of World War II and his funeral had a strong military feel. His naval cap and sword lay on top of the coffin with a wreath of white roses, lilies and jasmine from the 94-year-old Queen.